Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are playing the game's console version. Now, this is being played on the Xbox Series X, and I wanted to go ahead and start on the mod browser screen to show you guys not only how little space this new cat eye from Limes takes up, but how quickly it downloads and installs. So as you can see, I have quite a bit of mods installed already. Let's see how much memory this thing takes up. So it's only 94.3 megabytes in size. Let's go ahead and sub to it. It downloads just about instantly. It's almost there, and then once it's done downloading, we're going to go ahead and... Okay, so all mods downloaded. Now, it seems as though... Let's see, can we... Okay, so we can turn it on. It just completely maxes out our memory. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys what I have enabled already, and this is what I currently have enabled. Now, I am on a Xbox Series X, so the amount of RAM that my console will be able to use on SnowRunner may be different than what yours may be able to use, but these are all of the mods that I have turned turned on right now. Just about everything from Limes. I also have the F-350 pickup from Red. I have the RC Backyard. I have the Side-by-Side. -side. I have the Yeetmobile. I have the 17L400. I have Limes Mud Park. So it's a pretty good list of mods that I have on right now. But once again, that completely maxes out my mod capacity on console. Now, what I will be doing is we will be taking this whole setup to, I believe, Limes Mud Park. And once we get out there, I'll go ahead and get a setup put together for you guys. Now, once you get into the game, you'll also discover that one of the best aspects of this truck is that, honestly, it's really, really cheap. So, you're only going to end up paying $7,535 in-game to actually buy this truck. So, we're going to go ahead and pick it up. And then now, let me go ahead and make the global map stop flashing at me. But, let's go ahead and put something together with it. Now, I do want to go ahead and say that I know that that grill insert is, like, really, really bright. And if you don't like that, you can actually change the color of the truck and then the color of the grill insert will follow so it doesn't necessarily have to be this kind of black on bright orange that it's got going on if for whatever reason you don't like that now if you paint the truck black that will basically make the grill insert kind of dark gray as well so you can go for that look if that's something that you would like to do now this truck also has some special colors down here towards the bottom that are a little bit brighter than the others I'm personally uh, partial to the bright red the bright green and the kind of lighter blue the purple Purple is also really nice, and so is the deep blue. Now, ironically enough, I haven't really used this truck in bright red much at all. Normally, I either paint it the bright blue, the deep blue, uh, sometimes the green. And even though I don't normally paint this truck red, I'm sure that someone out there in the comments is going to be like, Aha! You paint everything red! And I'm like, ah, not necessarily everything. Now, for this one, we're going to go ahead and throw the 1200 horsepower Duramax in it. And we're going to throw the fast transmission. Actually, no. We're not going to do that. We're going to throw the heavy tow transmission in this one because we're going to build a secondary one that's going to be our mud truck. So this one is going to get a tow suspension. And let's do just a very quick setup on it. Nothing too crazy. It's going to get some extremely wide 45-inch BFGs. And let's see. Long tow strap and gooseneck hitch. Now, it is worth noting that in order to get the gooseneck hitch, you need to also have have Red's gooseneck pack downloaded and installed. Now, we can remove the window glass, but I think for this one, well, no, I mean, it's a tow rig. We're going to remove the window glass, and we'll throw the steps on the side. Tailgate, we're going to actually take it out because, once again, we're going to be running a gooseneck behind it. Lights, we will have the default ones. Fender flares, we'll have painted flares, and then rack-wise, I like the rack, but I don't know if I'm going to put it on this particular build. I, again, I like it a lot, but I don't know if I want it on this particular truck. So, let's go ahead, and we'll do the curved light bar up top. We will do the sport hood, and we'll do a hitch at the back as well, and we'll do the swank tip. And then let's see. I'm thinking the uh, the weighted winch bumper. I like the weighted winch bumper a lot, but the sport bumper is also really, really nice. Now that we have the tow rig built, it's time to go ahead and get a trailer behind it. So let's fire it up. It sounds so good. I will say, though, that with this particular wheel and tire setup, it is insanely wide. I mean, it is absolutely just stupid wide. Now, luckily, we have these, whoa, we have these loading areas for when we want to, uh, like, load a quad into the back of the truck or anything like that. But this map works so well for just about any RP scenario. Let's go ahead and throw the six-unit gooseneck behind it. This particular suspension, when it's raised, is just about the perfect height for that trailer. And even when it's not raised, it's a really good height for it as well. Let's go ahead and stop right here, and we'll get the... Nope. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. We'll get the ramps down, 
and we will shut the truck down. So now we're going to go back into the garage and we're going to buy a second C2100. And that one is going to be our mud build. So this C2100 is getting the max engine right off the bat. And it's going to get the fast transmission. And it's going to get the big lift. And I'm, I'm talking about like, trust me, this thing is going to be huge when we take it out of the garage. So all the way down at the bottom, you will find the agricultural style mud tires. And trust me when I say that these things are absolutely insane. They are so gnarly. They are, oh, there we go. 59-inch T1 tires, and they can pretty much go through just about whatever you want them to, and I, I genuinely mean that. This one's getting dark tint, and it's also going to get, it's going to get a little bit of a different color. I like the orange, but I think I'm going to, yeah, I like the, I like the bright green on this one. There's a couple of different shades of green, and they're slightly different. Actually, I like this one a little bit better. That one actually works really, really well. This one is definitely getting beans on the dash, and I also want to go ahead and throw some, let's see, stock tailgate, stock tailgate open. This one, I'll just leave the stock tailgate on. I'm not going to do the fender flares, and this one's going to get the rack, and then we're also going to do some green rock lights on this one, and this one's getting the cowl hood as well as the actually, no, this thing is getting no hood so that you can see the Duramax underneath it. Now, let me go ahead and go down here to switch to the black and green. That's not actually black and green. Uh, so yeah, if that one's not actually black and green. I'm not sure if that was like intentional or not. I'm not sure if that was a mix up in the naming process or a mix up in the color process. But regardless, it's not really that big of an issue or anything. It's just an odd quirk that I noticed. So now let's go ahead and fire this one up. It looks and sounds nasty. Now, one other thing that I'm trying to think about right now is should I take that stock front bumper off? I don't know because I have a custom front bumper on the other one, but I'm debating back and forth on whether or not that should be changed. Oh, this one still has the stock exhaust? Oh my god, a mud truck with a stock exhaust? No, I, I disapprove. I absolutely 100% disapprove of that. Let's do a... Let's do... I go back and forth between the dual stacks. Let's do, you know what? Let's do the dump pipe. Normally, I wouldn't do that one, but because I have the rack up top, I don't want the stacks to kind of interfere uh, with the rack. Let's ease this thing around. Honestly, that axle dump exhaust kind of fits the idea of a mud truck. And you know what? I also, I also feel pretty okay with using the default bumpers because, or the stock ones, I should say, because I normally never use the stock bumpers on this truck. So, and, and they look really good. So I feel like there is, there is definitely something to be said for showing off those stock bumpers. Now, before we head out, I'm going to build one more C2100. And you might be asking yourselves, why the heck are you building one more? There's a very specific reason for that. Trust me. Now, this one's not going to be anything crazy. It's actually going to be a very simple build. It's going to be just like kind of a dark blue-ish gray. And it's going to have the tailgate open. Now, you might be asking yourselves, why would it have the tailgate open? Well, the reason why this one's going to have the tailgate open is because we are putting the quad load suspension on it. And we're going to throw some of those wide BFGs on this one as well. And we're probably just going to leave it like that, leave it as is. And just because we're here, I think I'll throw a... I think I'll throw the swank tip on it, and I think I will throw a sport bumper on it as well. And now, we'll just leave the garage like that, and we'll back it down one of these ramps, and let's see, this one should work no problem. So we'll back it down this ramp right here, and honestly, I really like building this thing in both, like, the realm of, like, really crazy and also, you know, kind of stockish. It really, it really does highlight the, the big range of different variations of this thing that you can build. So now let's grab the four-wheeler. Wait a minute, where's the four-wheeler? Uh, it was here. There it is. The Lander 1000. The good old Lander 1000. This one is not getting its specs changed at all. It needs to stay kind of as is, I think. Well, it doesn't need to stay as is, but I'm not really gonna, I'm not really gonna... Uh, build this thing too much because we don't ne a we don't necessarily need to to get it in here and B I want you guys to see what this quad load suspension is used for so let's ease it right there Now you don't need this But the thing about using the quad load suspension is you can either load a quad this way and go ahead and pack it up 
or and you'll see what happens when I get this thing out of the uh, out of the loading bay is you could load a quad this way as well yeah it does that thing and don't worry it keeps going and apparently those um, those front arms are made out of rubber bands because now and yes you can drive it like this you shouldn't necessarily be able to but um, if you want to go like if you want to go completely wacky with this thing you absolutely can now it also the nice thing about the quad load suspension is it also makes it so that when you have the quad in the back it doesn't really sink down a whole bunch but let's go ahead and ease you up onto the back and now we have pretty much like every main variant of this truck that i would mainly want to build so now let's go ahead and pack everything up fire this one up and we're, go we're gonna go ahead and get the ramps up i was gonna say come on sometimes those ramps work sometimes they uh sometimes they're a bit sketch but dude you want to talk about an amazing looking setup that looks so good that looks so freaking good and at the end of the day that's a setup that no matter whether you're on console or pc i think we can all appreciate because it really is again absolutely insane to me how far the capability of not only how far the capability of the console modding has come in this game but also like just how far we've come as a community in terms of what like so many different players have access to so let's go ahead and see how this thing does when it's got a bunch of weight behind it bro the 1200 horse tune with the heavy tow transmission is like genuinely nuts okay yep trailer brakes please thank you for that this is absolutely wild though like the fact that it hauls this entire load of trucks with that much ease is just like it's next level incredible it's absolutely next level incredible my only thing is how does it break let's try this without using the well actually you know what once we get up to this corner we're going to use trailer brakes and the main brake let's see how it slows down almost there all right coming up on the turn off and all right trailer brakes and main brakes honestly with that much weight that was pretty good that was pretty freaking good considering how much weight this thing had behind it it slowed down in a heartbeat absolutely slowed down in a heartbeat now another area that you could use this thing really really well is obviously in campaign mode and if you wanted it to be a little bit more balanced you could totally go with the 500 horse tune and not the 1200 horse tune and I find that the 500 horse tune while it is a little bit better than what you're necessarily going to find from a default game truck it still has a feeling of balance to it to where it can still stall out if you have cargo behind you it can still stall out in mud it's not like it's just a big like easy button to make your way through every single mission in like 10 seconds so again if you want to have that aspect of balance using this thing with the 500 horse tune is definitely a good way to go about it so let's see how that uh how that mud truck variant does in this little mud pit right here next to us let's stop the engine and let's okay we got to go ahead and unpack these first i was like bro wait a minute all right change now first let's get you unpacked and just out of curiosity just out of curiosity i'm gonna send this thing through the mud i know it's got a quad in the back but you know what forget it send it oh my god well that was that was wild let's go for the mud truck variant now wait a minute that's not the mud truck variant hang on quick switch now we're good to go i almost wonder if this particular mud pit might be a little bit on the easy side for us it might be a little too easy but let's see if we can get this thing to start digging first. And then if it starts digging, then we'll have a work cut out for us. All right. Boosted launch and go. Bro, that's amazing. This thing is so good. Dude, that's so sick. All right. Oh, can we stop it from rolling? Uh, kind of. We ended up in a tree. But hey, you know what? We didn't roll. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit, like cheese grated in the front now but ah don't worry about it it's fine now let me know if you guys have used this truck on consoles and if you have let me know what your experience has been like let me know how much ram it's been using and of course let me know what system you have been using it on and with that all being said and done thank you all so much for watching and if you guys would like to see more make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on and i will see you guys next time talk to y'all later